A new treatment is helping people in green country who deal with a specific type of sleep apnea. Thank you for staying with us this afternoon. I'm Brian Dorman. And I'm Shannon Rousseau. Hillcrest Medical Center says it's helping patients with central sleep apnea get a restful night's sleep. News on 6's Mallory Thomas tells us how the device works. The best way that the doctors have described this new therapy to me is they say it's about the size of a pacemaker and it's implanted on the right side of your chest. They say it sends signals to your nerves to remind your body to breathe while you sleep. That lead is kind of a curly cue in shape um, and it allows you to stimulate the nerve on the right side. Dr. Craig Cameron goes through this step-by-step -step process with each patient before implanting a new sleep apnea therapy device called Remedy. It's designed to help people with central sleep apnea. Central sleep apnea, oftentimes there'll be these irregular pauses in breathing, but it's silent. And if you weren't watching the person, you wouldn't even notice that they you know, weren't breathing. Dr. Michael Newman says this therapy isn't for people who snore snore or have obstruction sleep apnea. He says patients with central sleep apnea often have heart problems too. Where we see central sleep apnea predominantly are in folks who have heart failure or other cardiovascular conditions. We will sometimes see it in people who have stroke or irregular rhythms. Dr. Newman and Dr. Cameron are working together on this new therapy here in Oklahoma. They say it's still new and may need to be replaced every five years, but say the data looks promising. I think it will be a game changer. The, the studies that were done to get the device approval um, from the FDA showed dramatic improvement in quality of life. Um, there's a suggestion that it may actually reduce heart failure hospitalization or reduce mortality, but we don't have that data yet. Hillcrest just had their first successful implant last week. They say they're hoping to do about two of these per month. They say it takes about four weeks to get all of that data collected and sent back to your cardiologist for the results. In Tulsa, Mallory Thomas, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.